Hey everybody, it's Andrew Cartwright here. It's only been five days and I already miss it. I miss it so much. It sucks, especially for people that it just, they didn't understand it. No, I'm not talking about the Pittsburgh Penguins from the NHL bubble. I'm talking about the Paycheck Protection Program, the PPP. Find out how much money was left over in the PPP penny bank and if you got a loan, why you might want to apply for loan forgiveness, why you might not want to apply right away, what some experts are saying. Also, could we have another round? And if you didn't get yours, will you have a chance to get it again? So, and what to do now after this. For the best news and information on how to master and dominate your money, business, and life, stay tuned to this channel. Also, there's a gray like button. Please turn that. It helps so much with the algorithm to blue. Also, hit the dislike twice if you really don't like it to make sure you got it. Hit the subscribe button, bell notification so that you can get more. Um, please comment. Also, when I hit 70,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away $700 in cash. To somebody, I'm gonna Zelliot or Venmo or PayPal if we know how to use PayPal. Hopefully, we can figure out how to use PayPal and make sure that uh, it gets to the person who needs it or wants it so we can give it, which is the goal. Also, grab your two free stocks of Weeble down below, open up your account, get two free stocks, one valued up to $1,400 just for opening an account. No catch, never a catch here. When the deadline for the PPP loans came and went, August 8th, 8 8, there was quite a few shekels left in the PPP bank account. If you don't know what that is, that's uh, another country's money. Dollars, there was dollars in the account. In fact, nearly 134 billion went unspent. Even with all the extensions of the programs received and the messaging, so many people did not get the loans because if you look at the actual number and the number of businesses, it's not possible that it, they got to everybody. So a lot of people, I believe, were scared of these loans. In totality, 5.2 million forgivable lo loans worth 525 billion were distributed by the SBA Small Business Administration. Think about that, 30 million businesses 5 million loans, right? 5.2 million loans. That leaves about 25 million businesses that were left out in the cold, small businesses, small businesses, and independent contractors and 1099 workers that because their line 31 said zero, they got zero. The program had a lot of flaws to say the very least, especially banks that were not giving loans to people. The average loan size was $100,729. The top lenders for PPP loans, guess who came in? Number one, JP Morgan Chase with 280,185 loans totaling $29 billion. Number two, coming in number two, Bank of America with 343,626 loans for $26 billion. PNC Bank, not one you hear of much, right? 73,925 loans for 13 billion. Some big B numbers, you know, they got a percentage of that that they were guaranteed to get paid. So they made money off these loans. All of these big banks figured, figures are unspent funds, are just proof of how badly these massive banks and lenders have basically messed over the little guy that weren't able to get the funds. It took me months to find a lender. I had gone through, checked on 200 different lenders that would not fund loans for less than $50,000. A lot of people just completely gave up on the idea of getting a loan at all. And after the entire program was done, the average loan size is $100,000. Think about that for a minute. Once again, the rich get richer, the poor get poorer, and the disparity gets worse and worse. 
Even Soros today is mad that the federal government issued money. I guess because he wanted to clean up everything. And buy it up himself. Along with all his other billionaire buddies. Meanwhile, the SBA opened their PPP forgiveness portal this week for loan claimants to achieve forgiveness for those funds. So you can go to the portal, you can go in, and you can start working on getting it forgiven. But financial experts, what I'm finding, are cautioning clients to use caution when filing for forgiveness too soon. Interesting, right? Not for doing it wrong, but for doing it too soon. Now, I know you're thinking, Andrew, why would you want to wait to get your loan forgiven? And trust me, I'm not saying that. I am simply saying experts, CPAs, are saying hold off. And the government's rattling too about different things. Wouldn't you want to get it settled right away? I would think you just want to get it over with, know that you're in the clear and everything is good. And the answer is complicated. But it seems like the patients may receive an easier route towards forgiveness than those that jump the gun and jump into getting that forgiveness and being responsible, just getting it done, right? First, the rule's still changing. It's changing. The forgiveness rules are changing. In fact, the SBA just offered new Q&As on August 11th regarding payments towards vision, dental, and group health care benefits. Next, everyone wants to know whether you will be able to write off the loans and tax deductions, which is yet to be determined. There's still unknowns here. This is like a not planned on program, right? Finally, there may be a blanket forgiveness for loans less than 150000 in the near future, which would eliminate the entire process for millions of claimants. Also, the burden for the banks to go through all of trying to get it done and the SBA. Amy Coomer, K-U-M-M-E-R, that's who I'm going off of, a CPA in New York State, so probably a tough one, right? Here's her quote, my advice on that she's giving to all her clients, and if you're not one of her clients, I guess this doesn't, doesn't count as advice to you, is that you don't want to be the first to rush into the forgiveness process, I guess if they change it, but I guess the bad thing could be if um, they make it harder to get it done than people they've already given forgiveness fund. It's a pretty bold statement, but she'll be right if they blanket forgiveness the hundred and fifty thousand uh, dollar number. So that has been talked about a lot uh, in the government about how that process could be done. Um, if you missed the timeline, it's possible that they will bring it back. The senators are talking about in the next package, which probably won't come in until September, that they'll be doing PPP again. But you'll have to demonstrate that you had 50% loss in business, and then there's a possibility, which is interesting. They're looking at funding the businesses that have the most likelihood of going out of business and the ones that are actually probably more healthy, not funding those businesses, maybe they get unhealthy. So it's a really mixed bag about how Washington is looking at how to fix businesses. And as you know, or as I expressed in other videos, that the paycheck part of it, the payroll part of it, is usually about 20% of expenses in a business. I package and have several companies, 11 companies. So in those companies, you know, 20% is typically payroll. The rest is, is overhead and rent and, and just all kinds of stuff. Now, rent and other things are included. They did make it easier. The program got better towards the end. It's better now than it was, um, but still needs some, probably some tweaking. Hopefully, they'll get it right the next time around. I hope that they'll expand that to just roll it out again for the hardest hit businesses and businesses. Maybe they'll open it up again. I hope you found this video entertaining, informative regarding the PPP across America. Stay tuned to the channel for the latest updates for personal finance investing and also future stimulus programs designed to help small businesses survive this crazy year. Also, if you have if your number's been pulled, make sure that you keep calling 
that bank, it may die down and you might be able to get through to get the funds. A lot of the banks that people gave the wrong paperwork or whatever may be just didn't even really get back to them. They just send them emails telling them that um, they're working on it. So it's, it's uh, been quite a mess. That's why I had mentioned that uh, to apply with multiple lenders if you haven't gotten funded and um, make sure that you kept applying until you got through and you got your money. Unfortunately, during this process, you almost couldn't count on any lender to be straight with you. Um, as far as getting things across the finish line, so many of them made up rules that were not even necessary, that were not part of the program, and made it even harder for you to get a loan than needed to be. I'm Andrew Cartwright, take care, I love you. Um, again, when I hit 70,000 subscribers, if you please like the video, it means so much if you do that. Subscribe, if you haven't yet, it's okay. It's, we, we love you, be part of the community. Be part of like what we're doing here so we can help with personal finance and help you. And um, also, I'll be giving away $700 to somebody who put a comment in the last 10 videos um, when we hit 70,000, which will probably happen by this weekend. Take care. Love you.